In this section, we're going to talk about some general SEO guidelines. Let's start with your website setup. To set up your title and tagline, go to Appearances, then Themes, and click Customize. The site title should be the name of your organization. The tagline should be a short phrase that will encourage people to click on it when they see it. The next part is to optimize your pages so that they can be found when people search the internet. The most important pieces are title, permalink, headings, and authorship. The title is critical. It should be descriptive of what the page is about, and you also want it to match the search terms people use. So for example, if you want your page to be shown in Google search results when people search for Member Management, then the title of your page should be Member Management. Avoid clever titles that no one will search for. You do not have to include the name of your organization in the page titles because it's already in the site title. You should also plan ahead and choose your titles carefully to avoid changing them in the future because you could lose SEO ranking for a keyword that was in the title. Below the title, you see the permalink, which is the address for the page. Now when that page comes up in a Google search, the web address is displayed below the title. If people see a link that does not seem to reflect the content suggested by the title, it may make them think it is spam and avoid clicking on your site. You should not change the permalink once the page has been established. If you change the permalink, Google will treat it as a brand new page and you will lose whatever SEO value the old page had earned. A good rule of thumb is to have the permalink be the same as the page title and not to change it once it's established. The next part is to make sure your content is structured properly. Do not use the bold and underline for titles. Always use the heading tags h1, h2, h3, and so on to title your sections. If the search matches the title, then it would indicate the entire page of content would be relevant to that search. When someone searches for a keyword that matches a heading tag, this signals Google that you have an entire section of content, the section under that tag, that may be relevant to the person's search and not just one sentence. So use heading tags that you think people will search for, but do not artificially force keywords into the headings, because if people are tricked to click onto your page but leave right away, Google will reduce the rankings of your page. So it's still important to make your headings and content relevant. You may have noticed recently that when you do a Google search, there are some links with pictures next to them. Our eyes are automatically drawn to those links with pictures, and people tend to click on those links more. To create a bigger buzz for your blogs and posts, you should set up and link your authorship information. To start, you'll need a Google Plus account. Go to your Google Plus profile, click on the About tab, then click Edit in your Links section. Under Contribute To, add the link to your website. Put the name of the website in Label and below that a link to the website. You need to link from WordPress to your Google Plus account. In WordPress, click on Users and then Your Profile. Your Google Plus link is in the address plus.google.com followed by a string of numbers with the word about or posts bit. Then copy your Google Plus link to the website box and click Update Profile. This is how you link your authorship information in the Blue Lift theme. Other themes may work differently or may not provide the authorship link feature. Check your theme documentation for details.